Hey, what's going on, guys? In today's two-minute devotion, um, I want to talk about um, one of my favorite passages of Scripture, really. I think it's relevant. It's extremely relevant. Um, for those of you that follow this page, you know that I believe all Scripture is extremely relevant and helpful. But um, today, nonetheless, uh, that doesn't take away from the point of this particular Scripture. And, and I'm hoping that uh, our dive into the Bible will help you as much as it's helping me today. Um, and so we'll just jump right in, see what the Word of God has to say. Today's scripture, we are going to be looking at um, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 34 specifically. So let's dive in and see what the Word has to say to us. In Matthew 6, 34, it says this, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. I know, again, the King James can kind of be kind of quirky with the uh, Victorian language. So it says this, uh, that can be translated like this. Jesus is saying here, don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. In other words, and then at the end of the scripture, he's saying there's enough things to focus on and concentrate on uh, in today for today. So in other words, just approach life as if all you have is today, because truly, um, that is all we have if we live in the moment. And so, listen, I wanted to encourage you today that this scripture is saying you don't have to have anxiety about uh, tomorrow. The scripture is not encouraging us to be irresponsible or not to plan for the future properly, but it is encouraging and admonishing us that we don't have to worry. We don't have to concern ourselves. We don't have to stress ourselves out. We don't have to take on any anxiety about what's going to happen in the future. And Jesus is saying, listen, you have enough to deal with in this moment, but the way that you deal with that in this moment is come to me and I guarantee you that I have everything that you need to get through the moment that you are living in right now. Um, another thing that I considered when reading this scripture is that I never really uh, took the time to pause and reflect on the fact that it could be kind of arrogant, it could be considered arrogant to even um, talk about what you're doing, like in the future to worry about what's going to happen. First of all, tomorrow's not promised. And so I think we would be better suited to look at what we're dealing with in the moment, thank God for the moment that we're living in and come to him because his grace is sufficient for us and we can receive everything that we need from him for the moment that we are living in. So don't worry about tomorrow or the future or what's gonna happen. Just thank God for today and come to him for whatever you need right now in this moment. Your God is with you and a very present help in a time of need. I hope you guys have a great day today.